Hello students, welcome to trainingcluster.com. Now in this video, we are going to talk about introduction to vehicle systems. That which are different systems are there in the vehicles. Okay, we have already seen the things related to engine. So basically engine is a heart of vehicle, no doubt, but sirf engine nahi hai that using engine you can run your vehicle. To function your vehicle well, there are other supportive systems are also there. For example, you have to reduce the speed of the vehicle, so the braking system will come. You have to transmit the power from the engine to the wheel, so the power transmission system will come. Okay, if the road is bad, you don't have to take shocks, whatever you are carrying, things, Okay, it should not get destroyed. So suspension system aata hai. Okay, to run the vehicle, you need a steering system. So there are different vehicle systems. We are going to study in unit number four. Okay, so let us start with the introductory part and one by one, we will take one system in each video and we will try to learn all the important points related to that system so if you are new to my youtube channel please do like and subscribe and also join us on telegram channel so let us start with unit number four now okay now these are the various vehicle systems one can find okay as i told engine itself is not just sufficient to run the vehicle if your vehicle whether it's a, see when i'm talking of vehicle it can be a car bike truck, bus, tempo, anything. Okay, so vehicle is a general term. So there is going to be power transmission system, then chassis layout will be there. Now what is chassis basically we are going to learn in this video. So chassis is nothing but it's a skeleton frame of the vehicle. We are going to learn the chassis layout in this video. Then to run the vehicle, up over turning karna you need a steering system if you want to prevent from the shocks okay so you are going to have the suspension system if you want to vary the speed if you want to stop the vehicle you are, you are going to need a braking system to cool your engine as well as some if you want a safety features in your vehicle like airbags and abs so that part is going to come then of course of course fuel supply system so these are the various systems basically present in a vehicle and that is what a unit number four is all about. We are going to learn various system, then different types of, for example, let's say if you are taking, let's say a braking system. So we are going to learn why the need of braking system is there, what are the types of brakes available okay how they looks its construction and working right so we will learn one by one system and we will try to cover see it's a very vast topic okay as i already told but jobi cheese first year ke liye important hai wo me aap discuss ho rahe i will not talk in very much detail okay ye koi aapka koi subject nahi hai okay it's a unit so we will talk related to exam point of view जो भी important concept है, जो भी important type से वो मैं यहाँ पे discuss करूँगा, as well as I will try to discuss some MCQ, right? Okay, so let us start with the video. So we are going to learn about chassis now. Okay, so this is a beautiful picture of layout of chassis. What is chassis basically? Chassis you can consider it as a frame. एक frame है, एक skeleton है. कौन सा स्केलेटन है दिस इज योर स्केलेटन जो मैंने एक रेक्टेंगुलर बॉक्स निकाला है आउटसाइड इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ चासिस ओके इज इट क्लियर नाउ सो मैंने यहां पे व्हील्स बताए हुए हैं वी विल सी वन बाय वन स्टीयरिंग सिस्टम बताया है देन व्हाट इज दिस वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एवरीथिंग राइट ओके सो व्हाट इज चासिस फ्रेम सो बेसिकली इट इज अ स्केलेटन फ्रेम ऑफ द व्हीकल on which various components or systems are mounted. Okay, which one of systems are? Gearbox, hai, engine, hai, suspension system is there, steering system is there, 
okay fuel tank is there so all the different components or different systems of vehicle are mounted on one frame that frame the what is the name of that frame the name is chassis is it clear so it is the most significant component of the automobile okay so this is the first part now what is this the arrow okay so these are called as axle these are called as axle okay a x l e so axle are the components on which chassis is mounted okay so basically axis kahan pe axis axis are mounted between the wheels these are four wheels these are the front wheel and this is the rear wheel. okay so basically axles are the components on which chassis is mounted and these are supported in wheels so the first arrow this one left hand side arrow these are the this is a front axle okay and this is a rear axle so kya hai front axle pe if you see the front axle you are having the steering system is there okay and the rear axle basically it consists of a driving shaft enclosed in a tubular shutter okay so axles are of two types front axle and rear axle and what are axle basically these are the components on which chassis is mounted so this is the second part now what is this these are the wheels right so basically wheels are support they are going to support the axle and the load of the vehicle and passenger is supported by the wheels through axle okay so of course front wheel and rear wheel will be there now the rectangular inside the wheels whatever the picture is okay so what is that it's a suspension system okay now this chassis the rectangular frame it is mounted on the axle not directly but through the suspension system that means if you are having the chass chassis so chassis it is mounted on the axle no doubt but not directly it is mounted through the suspension system and a suspension system ki agar position aapko puchta hai koi so it is between axle and chassis of course suspensions front side mein bhi rahega this is your front side and this is your rear side obviously on both the sides suspension system will be there so what is the function of suspension system suspension system it isolate the vehicle body and passenger from road shocks is it clear so chassis is mounted on the axle not directly but through the suspension system and what is the function of suspension system it isolates the vehicle body and passenger from the road vehicle so i hope you can relate the suspension okay so these are the wheels and on the front side you are having your front suspension on the rear you are having a rear suspension okay please remember we are going to do number of times from now onwards we are going to use the word front axle front suspension system front wheels and as well as corresponding names for the rear side okay so this is about fourth part that is the suspension system let us see the next part now what is this it's a steering system it's a steering system so steering system basically it is used for turning the vehicles in a desired direction where it is mounted it is mounted on the front axle this is your front axle ka pe front axle this is your front axle this is your front axle so steering system it is mounted on the front axle remember the position you can draw this layout in your book and you can give the numbering okay and you can write the name of that particular system now what is this part the orange one yes it's a engine so basically engine it is a 
part of the vehicle. So internal combustion engine, which converts what? Chemical energy of the fuel into mechanical power at the crankshaft. So it is the first element of power transmission system. Obviously, engine it is a power producing device. This power has to get transferred where it has to get transferred to the wheels. So, kaise transmit hoti hai? through the power transmission system. So, engine it is the first element of power transmission system. Okay. Then, second part, what is the name of the second part? It's a clutch. Now, basically, clutch, you can see, what is the position of the clutch? The clutch, it is in between engine and this is gearbox. Okay. This is gearbox. We are going to learn in the next slide. So basically clutch it is mounted between engine. This is your engine, engine and a gearbox. Okay. So it is used to engage and disengage the engine from the gearbox. Okay. So clutch kya karta hai basically. So when clutch is engaged, power is transmitted from engine to the gearbox. And when the clutch is in disengaged mode, that means when you are pressing the clutch pedal, there is no transmission of power from engine in forward direction. Okay, I am detail me padne wale. For time being, you have to remember what is the position of the clutch. So after the engine, you will find the clutch. So you can say it's a second element of power transmission system. It is mounted between engine and gearbox. And it is used to engage and disengage the engine from the gearbox. Okay, power transmit aage karna hai ki nahi karna hai. Kon decide karega? Clutch. Okay, right. Now, let us see the next, that is the gearbox. Now, what are the gearbox? Basically, gearbox, it receives the power from the engine. Okay, through the clutch and it transmits the power to the propeller shaft. So after the gearbox, the next element is propeller shaft. Propeller shaft. So basically gear, it is taking the power from the engine and it is transmitting forward. Now gearbox also produces the different speed, different speed ranges for the vehicle. So in the gearbox, the torque is increased and speed can be reduced. So this is a function of gearbox. So gearbox basically transmits the power to the propeller shaft. Now the next part is the propeller shaft and universal joint. So propeller shaft it is a mechanical element that transmits the power from yes this is what gearbox we have seen. So it is going to transmit the power from gearbox to the differential gearbox. So this is differential. Okay, now one end of the propeller shaft, it is connected to the gearbox through universal joint, through universal joint. And the other end, it is connected. So one end is connected to gearbox the other end of the propeller shaft it is connected to differential gearbox again using a universal joint okay so what are the propeller shaft basically it transmits the power from gearbox to differential gearbox now the next part is a differential gearbox so what is the function of differential gearbox it transmits the power from propeller shaft to the rear axle and from rear axle to the wheels. Okay. So basically, if you see this propeller shaft, it is at a right angle. It is at a right angle to the rear axle. So it transmits the power from propeller shaft to the shaft of the rear axle, which is at a right angle and it allows the wheel to rotate at different speed in Turn. Okay, so basically you have to remember how power is getting 
ट्रांसमिटेड सी पावर कहां पे प्रोड्यूस हो रही है जस्ट लेट मी रब एवरीथिंग सी पावर इट इज गेटिंग प्रोड्यूस एट द इंजन देन इट इज गेटिंग ट्रांसफर टू गियर बॉक्स वाया क्लच देन फ्रॉम द गियर बॉक्स पावर इज गेटिंग ट्रांसमिट टू प्रोपेलर शाफ्ट फ्रॉम प्रोपेलर शाफ्ट इट इज गोइंग टू डिफरेंशियल गियर बॉक्स फ्रॉम डिफरेंशियल गियर बॉक्स इट इज गेटिंग ट्रांसफर टू शॉर्ट ऑफ द रियर एक्सेल एंड देन टू द व्हील्स and then your vehicle is going to move so this flow is basically very important right okay so this is about differential gearbox the next is a radiator so basically it's a heat exchanger used for cooling purpose so these are the various elements which are present on the chassis so let us list down everything so this is your chassis frame okay then then this is your front axle then this is your rear axle okay then next is so sometimes they will give the diagram and they will ask you that this part is what okay so you have to this diagram is very important then these are the wheels of course there are going to be four wheels okay then the suspension systems are there this is your suspension system okay this is also a suspension system so front and rear suspension then you are having a steering system this is what a steering system then this is your engine then you are having a clutch then you are having a gear box then this is what a propeller shaft with of course a universal joint okay then you are having a differential gear box okay and the last one is a radiator okay so these are the overall components or systems of vehicle which are present on chassis and what are chassis it's a skeleton frame of the vehicle okay is it clear so hope you have understood the basic layout of chassis and which are the components of automobile vehicle so thank you everyone for watching this videos please do subscribe my youtube channel and hit the notification bell and please don't forget to share with your friends also so in the upcoming videos we are going to take one system in each video whichever systems we have listed down and we are going to learn one by one from exam point of view we are i'm not going to talk in detail if you want to learn in detail there are number of courses number of videos already available on the internet but whatever exam point of view important things will be there that part i am going to discuss in this video series so please don't forget to share with your friends please do forget it's a free course right i am not charging anything so at least you can ask your friends to subscribe my youtube channel that motivates me if you are liking my videos please do write in the comment section also okay so it feels good if someone is commenting or even if there is some things required for the betterment all those suggestions are also welcome thank you everyone